Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating concept models in Rhino. This model is uh, actually made with subd uh, commands and we are going to learn how to work with the subd panel. Um, but at first we should know that uh, these kind of models can uh, easily be created by many different commands in Rhino. Uh, but in this tutorial we are going to use uh, subd tools panel. So I go to another Rhino viewport and go to the top view and make sure that it's uh, on wireframe because uh, at first we want to uh, just see the model in the wireframe. Okay, uh, I go to sub the tools here. Maybe your sub the tools panel uh, be over here, for example. But you can just uh, move this uh, panel to wherever you want based on. Uh, how regularly you use your uh, different commands. So I go to subd tools and uh, I click on create subd plane. When you want to create a plane with subd, uh, it, uh, uh, it has some uh, you know uh, faces in x axis and y axis. So when you want to create them, it asks you to uh, define a number for each value. So I, for example, for um, x count, I put it on, uh, for example, 9, and for y count, for example, 12. And again, I start to draw it. Okay, something like this. Uh, I delete the last one, and now uh, when we want to develop something on this plane, we uh, don't want to see these corners, uh, which is fillets here. Mm, we can just turn off the uh, sub the showing options. For example, go here, toggle sub the display, and click on it, and you can see that it's uh, disabled. But when you want to see the original result, you should again click on this toggle subject. So we have this plane, and if we go to perspective viewport, we can see that this uh, subject plane is created. And these are the faces, and these lines are called uh, the edges. So uh, to create something like the model that we first saw, uh, we should just move these um, segments or edges to, for example, Z axis. So I go to selection filter and click on face. And for example, I choose this face and uh, drag it to the Z axis. As you can see, it is influencing on the other panels um, that you are watching here, but you can uh, put some mm, values for the influencing amount of this uh, movement. So I click on Ctrl Z and again go to new in V7 and uh, click on soft tra transform. Uh, enable uh, this option uh, should be set on yes because we want that uh, influencing on the other panel. So it should be yes. The radius is uh, the important part that mm, actually it uh, affects on the influencing part. So uh, I click on the radius and hit for example on uh, 6. Now if we uh, click on any face here and move it to the uh, top, you can see that uh, this is limited to these parts. So I uh, again click on toggle sub the display and uh, bring it up here. And again I go to for example uh, this space and I bring this up too like that. And maybe uh, two faces here exactly like this. And um, now I want to make some changes on my first model. So I